Hey guys, so um, right now I had my last class, so I have a couple hours. Right now I'm gonna eat. I have a sandwich and I'm gonna make some coffee. I just had some tea earlier. Um, I got a lot done for the most part. It's kind of been a little bit wild. Um, today, oh, it went so much smoother. People were talking, they didn't know. They were great. I didn't have any problems <sighs> so far. <laughs> Um, my middle schoolers were chill. They were just doing their thing. It helped me tons. I kind of eased through everything, went through worksheets to really explain what every, like, the color theory terminology is, made sure that they understood. If they don't understand, they definitely came up to talk and ask questions, which was amazing. I'm so happy that they're talking. <laughs> um, I put up some inspiration uh, because I like inspiration in my room. I like to have everything kind of, you know, like I want to grab and go, especially if I'm doing a lesson on something specific, like perspective. I have one point perspective with the Great Wall. I have line. I have different things, so it kind of gives me easier instead of having to flip through my stuff. I just bloop. All right, here we go. This is what we're doing. Here's an example. Nobody's picking up paintings, which makes me upset because I don't want it to go and like be thrown out, but I'm not going to be able to keep I'm not going to be able to keep all these. I have people coming in this week and all my work has to be put up and all these paintings are here and it's going to drive me bonkers. I don't want to deal with that. So, but I'm going to kind of show you guys what I have going on here. So my desk arrangement is still up. I need to fix some chairs because they like to bring extra chairs for group, which they're not going to have enough room for it. But I have a color theory posters up up here I'm gonna have to take all these down and set them in the corner right now I have that I need to go more through those I have that up my uh, containers everything's full this is my desk it's a little messy but I have it set up for the most part the only thing is messy is like I have papers and then I ordered a filing cabinet to put stuff in those stuff in so I have it categorized by different things that's kind of my inspiration wall right now these are going I still need to kind of like remove some of this stuff I have my serious black sign up I'm gonna kind of nail it in a little bit better because I don't like the tape my carts but yeah so it's basically my class yeah so it's definitely um neat and orderly I had um somebody from the special education department come in with one of their students that they had to help out and oh my gosh she was so sweet she was like wow it looks great which is good because it makes me feel better because I put a lot of hard work into it furniture is leaving so I'm really excited I'm gonna kind of prep that right now I'm gonna kind of move things around to where I'm just gonna handle it and get it done really work on things and tuck her down I'm gonna eat though so I shall see you later I'm not sure how quick my day is gonna go I don't know what's going down I'm gonna try to finish after like I said I have people coming in this week so lots to get done I'll go hi guys so I'm in my classroom I have some of my inspiration up the heater is going so sorry for the noise I'm just really cold it's freezing I want the room to be a little bit toastier everything is starting to come along which I am more than excited for a lot of stuff my brother came last night and so we got a lot a lot done today <laughs> it made me very happy and um, really excited my class is clean uh, the maintenance team swept in here, which I thought they weren't going to do, but they did it and they put everything up and so I came in and I was so excited. I still have some trash that has to get taken out, which is like the old canvases that kids use that um, they just decided to mess around with instead of taking it seriously and so those are getting thrown out today and I have like a little unfinished gallery wall up which looks super cute and I'm so excited this is exciting like it looks like a real classroom now I feel so much happier and like not cluttered and it just feels 
like mine. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour real quick. It's not quite done, not everything's out that I want, that I want it to be out. But maintenance has been so great and they've been trying their hardest to get push through and to get everything done. So it's really exciting, I can't wait. <laughs> desk right now. I'm going to get a different chair. I don't quite like the chair, but I really like how clean and organized it is. I'm getting rainbow carts. Um, I ordered them, so that's going to hold my worksheets. Make a lot of the stuff is kind of storage back here. I set up some of my drawings just to kind of give kids a little bit more inspiration and inspire me to keep doing what I love to do. These are some of the kids' work that I didn't want touched because they're not finishing their oils, so well, these three are oil actually four of them one two three four are oils and he didn't come so I didn't I don't want them to throw that out yet it's my drawing wall right now I'm gonna stick up thumbnails because we're gonna learn thumbnails today some of the kids already did so they get a jump start on what we're doing that's my little gallery wall a lot of stuff from here is off and out so I just need to fix some of these panels um, this is a drawing room today. My drawing class is doing negative and positive space, so they're drawing chairs today. That's my color reel board, and I'm going to do kind of more color theory on there. Right now, my painting wall has all their worksheets up, where it looks super cute and nice. I'm excited. My carts, my sink look clean. And these two items are going to leave. They're going to probably just throw the big chest drawers in the trash. This is going to... My clipboards are staying. I put the shelf that was over here, here, so I can hold my phone. And then I can put some knick-knacky things. And I have my little wand thing, my board. And this is kind of my front of the desk. I have my sorting hat, my cup. And it's kind of all set up. I've got my little knickknacks, and then I have a little bell because they don't be quiet. I can't talk very loud; it hurts. So I just kind of go ding, 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 and they usually quiet down a little bit. And I'm gonna find a better organization. I have other carts coming in to put all this stuff in, and this is gonna be my paper organizer. But yeah, I'm so excited at how great this is coming along. I did kind of want to over, go over my lesson um, for my drawing class. This is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to work on understanding that knowing the difference how to do negative space and positive space. Um, this is going to be our drawing technique that work. I'm going to teach them like how to be able to find the negative and positive. To oh, personally for me, this is how I draw. Is I like to look at the negative space, fill out the negative space, and then slowly work on the inside. It helps me. I am not a mathematician, so this is my go-to. So it gives them a generalized idea of what, of how to do something. It's so easy. It's like silhouette a little bit. They can kind of get a, a little bit of the detail and then work their way from in out because the outside's already there. The outline, no gridding involved, and it's. I find it so much easier. Um, but before we kind of get into that, I'm gonna kind of go over this like basics of drawing. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her make like 20 copies for me, but it kind of gives you a generalized idea of what's going on. I'm going to have like read it. I'm going to explain it, give them examples, linear drawing. So it gives you kind of tons of examples. Um, this I'm going to do kind of next time just to kind of visualize and see what they're doing. But today we're just gonna do negative and positive space because if you can't visualize something and draw a basic outline of it, this isn't gonna be really easy. It's gonna be hard and they're not gonna be able to do it. Oh, sorry, I thought somebody's trying to come in. I don't know, I'll check in a second. But yeah, so then our next lesson's gonna be lines. So that's basically what we're doing. And then for my color real, or, uh, for my painting class, um, my painting class and my middle schoolers, what we are going to do is I'm going to have them, um, we're going to learn how to draw thumbnails, which I have, they're not accurate, but I have little cards, and then what we're going to do after we, uh, what they're going to do with the thumbnails is they're going to draw different angles of their thumb and or hand, 
and once they kind of get the basics of that, I'm going to give them a paper and they have to sketch out four, four different ideas or concepts of a color wheel that they want to create. I do have the Chromebook fully charged, so if they want reference ideas from the Chromebook, they can kind of go on there and um, then they can get started. I think I'm just going to have them utilize whatever um, they're painting so they can do color pencil. The only thing I don't, I think I'm just going to limit it to colored pencils, watercolor pencils slash watercolors, acrylic paints, and mm, I'm going to do chalk pastel and oil pastels. I think those are good mediums to color and get through. Chalk pastels are easy. If they're smart, they would do chalk pastels. If they're not smart, or they're more than capable of doing something a little bit more complicated. You know, it gives them freedom of choice. I want them to have options and feel like they have options. So we're gonna go over that and they can start on the projects if they have four concept ideas. It'll give me some more sit down time um, cause I, <laughs> I need sit down time. It's, you know, I like to kind of let them work because I, teaching them is fine. Going over concepts, giving them the ground rules is good, but I'm not going to physically do work for them because you physically do it for them. They're never going to learn. So I just make sure I go out of my way to give them their work time to make them focused and calm. I, for, I was going to bring my charger. I don't have a charger. I'm kind of going off of a limb. I need to go get gas um, before I go anywhere. And it's just a crazy hot mess right now because of that. Yeah, I have a lot to do. So today I'm just going to, I think I'll probably just put this up and then show what we're working on because this is basically what we're working on. But um, I think I'll just read my intro here. Um... I'm going to kind of take some notes, going to talk about it, uh, so that way I kind of have an idea of how we're going to start this. This, I mean, drawing class isn't for a couple of hours, so my painting class is easy. I'm just like, okay guys, I'm going to teach you thumbnails. going to give you some time to sketch out your thumbs, which should be, because it gets you to not erase and not do any of that. So Sharpies are good. They kind of get you out of your comfort zone. They kind of get you to just draw what you see and it turns out pretty good like the ones that have done it today they did good and then the ones who um aren't uh who don't you know I have they're gonna work on that and the ones who do they're gonna just already get started you already know how to draw a thumbnail give them a small piece of paper make them sketch out their squares rectangles I don't know I tried getting somebody to do that the other day he just kind of went for it and I was like okay I didn't, I didn't say anything in my head. I'm like, Ugh. it's not what I asked. Listen to details, but kids just don't listen sometimes. So that's so I'm going to give him us, give everyone a smaller paper, um, because I'm not, you're not going to just hand it in school. You're just, you're going to have to make actual thumbnails yourself. So I'm trying to already get them to know how to do that. Kids don't listen sometimes. So I got to reinforce that today. Like be like, no. So we're drawing thumbnails first and then I'm gonna tell them what they're gonna how they're gonna do the piece I think I'm gonna have to set up the boards today I could just be like here's the painters tape tape it down but that's a lot of work and I don't want to do it mm, I don't know I'm, I'm kind of accumulating I have a little bit of time I have to pick them I have to go to the building at 8 45 because at 8 we bring them back at like nine. We kind of let them like accumulate. And some of the kids just come straight here in the morning. <sighs> They're not supposed to. They don't listen though. So. And then I have, I've been like preparing because next week, like I said, I think I was saying it yesterday. That. We have people coming in, looking at the classroom, it has to be set up, so everything's coming along so far. 
which is really exciting and I'm very happy that it's coming along because I don't have to do too much. I'm kind of just accumulating like how things are gonna be put. I'm gonna have a couch in here for like my TA or like I have a lot of like sensitive kids who come in and sometimes they come in crying and they come in like upset so I want to give them like an area calm down like you're okay relax and so far so good everything's kind of been been a little bit but um it's, it's been a little crazy and that's why I'm kind of glad that's going to come in once all this this furniture is gone and uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be comfy i'm really happy my classroom's my classroom's here i'm ranting now so <laughs> i'm gonna eat i'm gonna kind of go over my stuff um i'm also trying to see like what activities i can do i only have about an hour with them yeah an hour for the most part so I'm just trying to like fill up the hour and make it impactful because I'm used to having studio classes for two hours, which we do a lot and then also for a short amount of time, so like 15 weeks. I'm not used to having to space it out over an hour twice a week and for a whole year, that's, that's a lot of planning. That they don't really quite teach you when you take art education, they kind of slightly go over like pedagogy, how to influence students, and um, stuff like that, and they they give you examples in your own studio classes to help you as an art educator, but they don't kind of like tell you too much how to prepare, how to lesson plan, which is actually what I found to be extremely important, um, and a lot of like educational courses, they don't quite teach you how to do it do they kind of give you like a, a project where you kind of create something really fun and you go over it but you, they don't really teach you like how like the setup in the classroom how to like talk about it how to be prepared about it and all of that so I'm just kind of assessing <laughs> and it's kind of like a learning process for me because I teach but it's always like individually small groups or like I've been doing observations at preschools and stuff so I'm used to kind of like that age range I'm not quite used to middle school and high school quite yet and it's just been a little bit rustling I'm not used to the attitudes I'm not used to the the idea that you know as, at that age they they want to be treated like adults and I'm more than willing to do that, but they assume that it's going to be automatic, that they have to be treated that way when they don't treat you that way back. So it's kind of like a learning process for them, but they're getting there, they're getting there. They're kind of fully understanding, they're giving me respect, which is fine for now. <laughs> but yeah, I will go. Okay, I will go. I will probably be back at lunch to talk to you about what's going on, give you a little bit more updates. I know I didn't post a video, so I'll post that tonight when I'm done. But yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay guys, I thought I was filming. I was not filming. So, my coffee's almost dead. Um, my color, my middle schoolers worked on our color wheel designs, which they did really good. They went through it all they're kind of just chilling and um, I had a couple ones who just kind of aren't used to um, structure aren't used to understanding that a classroom is a classroom and you guys it just because it's art doesn't mean that you don't do what you need to do um, only just like a couple students and then my high schoolers I don't know right now I have lunch I don't see them to one but I have one drawing class um, right after I'm done, which my drawing class is going to draw chairs. We're doing negative and positive space, so I'm trying to get them um, simple stool. Like we have simple stools out, they're gonna kind of draw those, 
and I'm gonna kind of angle them in different ways I think just to give a variety we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that works and they're gonna work on this big paper here I want them to if they decide to do one stool I'm practicing with them filling up the space because they don't know how to fill up space they take a whole tiny paper and do something this big so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna learn how to draw big and they're not gonna like it but if we don't do things we're not used to it's gonna be harder in life when you have to force yourself to do things so we might as well do it in a fun way yeah so that's kind of been my morning i had a student write on my worksheet some naughty words and um i have to go through reporting and they i don't know I don't know who did it and so I'm just writing a list of names down of people who might have and I'm gonna talk to them and um, if I have to get my lead teacher to come in and talk to the whole class we will do that I will mm, I don't know they're they're trying to test me they're, they're pushing my limits and I don't know if like a lot of like high school teachers talk about this but they will push and they will see how far they can get you to react how are you gonna react and if you react in a certain way, they're going to keep continuing. So you just have to kind of be like, like straight faced. And I'm personally not like that. I'm very happy and bubbly, but I have to be really strict these couple of weeks and I have to create a structure and have to create this ability for them to know, like, we don't behave like that. We just really don't. And if I have to treat them like preschoolers, I will. I have been. They want to be treated like little kids. I don't expect them to be little kids no i gave them utmost respect and you're disrespecting me it's not gonna happen you guys aren't gonna have a choice <laughs> in what we're doing you guys are gonna just do it there's structure you guys don't even know your primary colors why are you doing this this is literally the conversation i have with all my kids who try to give me problems and um typically my tuesday thursday classes are really easy going but i guess yesterday they were just being they're just being something and um today what yeah today so far has gone easy i know these these kiddos are typically more quiet which is fine um it's i got used to the silence before i'm like guys talk but if they're quiet they're quiet i know they're working um but they sometimes they just don't want to talk so you just kind of get them open especially when i'm doing like discussions and when they're going to do presentations i don't want it to be awkward so I'm trying to get used to the people in the room, trying to get them to just conversate. And yeah, your friends aren't in here, but that doesn't mean you can't make new friends. So that's what I've been doing right now. I'm just kind of prepping for, um, I, I'm doing a quarter auction, two, two quarter auctions next week. So I'm doing this watercolor owl, which looks actually really good. I did pretty good, considering the fact that I um, haven't really painted in a while. And the form and structure are already there. So i just been kind of utilizing. My class has these water brush things. So I was just playing with those. Getting used to them. How they work. Um, definitely if you're just utilizing cool colors. Or if you're just utilizing, utilizing warm colors. These are really good. But I don't suggest if you're going to mix between two of them. To do it. Because like the water it like turns back to the color that you, colors you're kind of working on. So it's just, I think it's a little bit easier to kind of get all up in there and get like the darker color gradients in. I've been just playing with them. I'm trying to like figure out what we are going to do because I have to do a couple painting lessons because I've taken drawing classes so I know how to set up a drawing class. I haven't really taken um, painting yet. I don't take it till the summer. So I'm still trying to figure out how to kind of organize my painting classes. It's more for high school because like middle school, it's really easy. We have projects that we're going to do for this. And um, I'm just going to kind of jump straight and go to like a kaleidoscope event. That's what we're going to really focus and work on. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of been, it's been a hot mess. I'm... I've been good, but, um, I'm fine. The kids just, they're kids. 
And so I'm just gonna eat my spaghetti, eat my chips, and just relax, I think, for the rest of the day. I, I'm just gonna take it easy. The last few classes are really easy going, which helps so much. Makes my life easier. I don't have to do too much. I just kind of just, all right guys, this is what we're doing. And then just relax and do my thing if I need to do something. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'll kind of give you an update later. Bye. And this is kind of just what I'm slowly working on for one of my quarter auctions events. I think it's pretty good considering. And then I'm going to kind of fill it in with um, line work. Uh, just kind of simplify it. I don't need anything too fancy. So yeah, that's my owl so far. Okay, so I just had an eventful day. I just talked to my lead teacher about that. I said that I was saying before. I had some students try to sass me again. Um, They're working on their concept drawings for their color wheels, and someone is like, "Oh, she's not even, she's not even helping." And I'm like, "Really, guys? You guys don't need my help to come up with concepts. If you guys need help, you can call me." And I was like, "Do you need help?" And she's like, "Oh, no." And I was like, "Oh my god, trying to sass me right now? Don't even start." So I'm going to give you a little bit more of a tour. Everything's pretty much cleaned off. I'm so excited. I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little update of what was going on. Um, but yeah, everything's clean. So, sorry, the custodian was trying to take up trash. So I have my desk all organized. Boop. This is all going to go. That steam. Stuff. My walls. 